Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a rewind spread in my horizontal planner. I'm using a kit from Sponsored by Coffee. As you can see here, there's the full boxes and the little things page there. You've got your ombre heart checklists and some little things, icons there, some more functional stuff there. And this is your washi page here with your top washi and some little bits there and the washi for the black lines. This is an older format kit. Her newer kits are a little bit different than this, but it still works. So I'm just going to fast forward me laying down all the washi bits because it can be a bit tedious. And then I'll come back and explain the layout and how I do this no white space. As you can see, I've just done the date dots on the date covers and now I'm placing the date cover down vertically to the very left. I'm going to use this as like my buffer and then I'm going to go in with a header. I'm just trying to find them. And I choose to alternate between to do and today. I'm putting down to do's this time. And then I'm going to go in with my ombre heart checklist and it's really good to bump it up against the left hand side all the time then everything will stay straight and then I'm going in with my today header and then I'll put the full box down and if you keep bumping everything up it'll stay straight and there's a few places that make these kits in this format, uh, this is sponsored by Coffee. She's an overseas girl, but her shipping is really, really cheap and she has sales. Now, I just showed you there. Um, if you put the full box down the wrong way, it'll actually go over the space allocated. So if you are putting the full box down the wrong way, it won't fit, it'll be too big. So the full boxes only go down one way, which is also <laughs> makes it really, really easy. And the little things, header is going down now and the little things fit in that box on the end so as you can see there it just flows really well and I really really like the design here putting just down a meal little thing and having trouble with it because <laughs> I'm drinking a coffee as well while filming this and I'm getting jitters from it who doesn't like those coffee jitters on a Saturday morning and a TV thing to mark TV shows. The only downside with this is there isn't always enough room to stack your little things, so I condense my little things when I'm using my horizontal. With your little things section in your horizontal, you can choose from having a half box or a quarter box in your section, and there is, I'll show you in the layout using both options for those. I think the quarter boxes I'll use on the next side though. I think on this side I just use half boxes. So I'm laying down a couple of little bits of washi. And a half box. Look how beautifully that all fits. Alright guys, I'm going to speed it up now. Enjoy.
bottom notes section is where I like to put things that I'm going to use like during the week. Um, so you treat it sort of like a weekly section. So there's a weekly sticker that goes down for it. And I'm scrummaging around looking for the stickers I want. And as you can see, you do wind up using a lot of the stickers. There's not much waste with this kit. So here I've grabbed a weekly ombre. And again, if you bump everything up to the left, like you've been doing the whole way through, you don't have any issues. And I've just grabbed a fitness sticker so I can keep track of like exercise for the week. And just sit it over the top. And just looking back to see what else I'd normally put in there, which is groceries. Keep track of the things that I need to grab down the street. And I'm just going to put an ombre heart checklist in with for that. And there is one left. You normally wind up with three different colours left at the end if you just go through down the sheet. And here I make a bit of a boo-boo and put the header down first. I found if you put the full box down first and then the header, you can line it up a little bit better. And I realise about here. Yeah, and I pull it back up. Her paper, Connie's paper, is removable and it's so beautiful to use. So you just line it up with the bottom right-hand corner. It's generally overlapped a tiny bit but I was like you know what I can't be bothered <laughs> and then just fill the gap the header and when I've put the sticker schedule down and that's where I normally just put my weekly habit trackers and next I grab the weekend banner and this is what she's changed in her new format kits as well and I haven't grabbed any yet so I'm curious to see um, some people put it this way and some people lay it across the top of Saturday sorry my phone's buzzing beside me so yeah there's my finished spread and again thanks for watching guys